me who enjoys thrifting and has a love and appreciation for brass, you know that sometimes you can find beautiful brass pieces, but they have lost a little bit of their shine and luster. I'm gonna share with you my tips on cleaning those quickly and bringing the shine right back to those beautiful items. had gone thrifting to one of my favorite thrift stores and I love to find brass pieces just because it has a little bit of history it brings an elegance I believe to the home decor and those are just items that I really love and and appreciate but I know that sometimes when you find these brass pieces they can be somewhat beat up or they might lose their luster and shine I have learned is one little trick to be able to clean these brass pieces so that we can bring them as close as possible at least back to their original state and be able to clean them up and make them look beautiful. I ended up finding these gorgeous brass candlesticks and in the thrift store that I normally go to, these are so much more affordable than the ones that I can find in my local Goodwill store. For example, this one was $1.85, this one was $1.85 as well, and this one was $2.85. But I believe that I did end up getting some type of a discount because it was their color-coded color of the week. I couldn't pass those up. They are a little bit dull in color to say the least. So we're gonna go ahead and clean these up. So I'm gonna be bringing you a little closer to share with you my little secret, well, not so secret, but the awkward item that you can use to clean this item. And it's all in your kitchen or your pantry or maybe in, even in your refrigerator. Some of the items that you're gonna be needing for this little cleaning project is a little bit of the Blue Dawn. I'm going to also be using some baking soda and the secret ingredient, ketchup. Any brand will do, yes, ketchup. So I'm going to bring you a little bit closer exactly what I'm going to be doing with all of those three simple items, including water, of course. I began by simply removing all of the price tags and placing them in this rectangular cake pan so that I can use and clean everything in one place. Once my candlesticks are in my pan, I am grabbing my ketchup and giving a good amount of ketchup and lathering it along the candlesticks here. Now you can feel free to use gloves if you like. I am okay using my hands. I'm just using that ketchup and smudging and smearing it all over the brass candlestick so that I can give it a good and even coat. As soon as I was satisfied with the ketchup that I poured over and smudged, I sprinkled some baking soda and I'm also adding and smudging this on the brass pieces. And even just by doing this alone, even though it's not completely clean, I can definitely start seeing a difference on how much shinier and cleaner it's beginning to look. a little bit of white wine vinegar to this and so I have let that soak in for about 10-15 minutes now now I know I understand that this is not completely covered and that's okay I'm going to go ahead and use a small non scratch pad and I'm also going to use a little bit of salt my pad here with the salt and start cleaning away.
I put the candlesticks in the sink with some warm water. I just simply rinsed off quickly that non-scratch pad with the blue dawn that you see here, giving it that final wash and rinse and drying it with a paper towel. Compared to the before picture of these candlesticks, they are absolutely stunning. I absolutely love these candlesticks. They're so beautiful. The detail in them are shining and it has brought back that beautiful luster that copper has with such elegance and shine and beauty to any place and space that you wanna decorate with. I do really hope that you enjoyed this type of video. Don't forget to check the description box below because I'll leave all of the items that I use to clean these brass candlesticks. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would hope that you would join the family. Leave me a comment below and say hello and hit a thumbs up or even share the video for someone who has any items that are brass that might need a little bit of shine. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. God bless.